Welcome to our continuing coverage of the HSBC BWF World Tour for 2023. It is the 21st event of the season, and that means it's the Hong Kong Open here at the Hong Kong Coliseum. Wonderful arena, as you can see. And it's day four of the um, competition, which means, of course, it's quarterfinals Friday. Big, big day as we move into finals weekend. And uh, so far, we've seen some red-hot action on these three courts that have been uh, used and this is the program for day four two sessions happening 11:30 uh, a.m local time that's this one that's just kicking off now and then of course the second session will be this evening at 6 30 p.m local time so do mark that down in your diary lots of big action as i said and lots of big matches as well and this is the order of play for session one uh, kicking it off with the women's doubles the number four seeds kitty tarakul and prajongjai from thailand taking on pearly tan and tinamori taran the sixth seeds that should be a crunching affair that'll be followed by the women's singles the world number two and number one seed akana yamaguchi is through and is playing the recent australian open winner bei wan zhang from the us uh, the number seven seed I'll be followed by the men's doubles, Li Yang and Wang Chilin, the Olympic champions, the number eight seed still keeping a good run here in Hong Kong, and they're going to take on the Malaysian pair of Gozi Fei and Noor Zudin. And then possibly the biggest match in women's singles that we're going to see this morning, the number three seed, Carolina Marin, back to her best after the World Championships, taking on Gregoria Mariska Tunjun from Indonesia. I'll be followed by the men's doubles, Li Fang Chi and Li Fang Zhen from Chinese Taipei, taking on Kim Astrup and Anders Rasmussen, the number seven seeds from Denmark. There'll be three more matches in this session. Lee Chia Hao taking on Jonathan Christie. That will be uh, in session two in men's singles. That qualifier from Chinese Taipei really making some headlines. Followed by the men's singles, Kenta Nishimoto taking on Rasmus Genka from Denmark. And then the mixed doubles, Hong Kong pair, Tang Chung Man and Si Ying Sweat taking on the number two seats, Tom Gikel and Delphine Del Rue. Mm -hmm. So looking at the women's doubles draw and while well, all the usual suspects in terms of the quarterfinals, the number one seeds, Matsumoto and Nagahara taking on the Aimstar sisters. That'll produce the opponent for the match you're about to watch. As you can tell, it's just starting off now. Uh, and also in this section two of the women's doubles draw, Miura and Sakuramoto taking on Froigan and Tigerson, and Rahayu and Ramadhanti from Indonesia taking on Lee and Liu. So as you can tell, activity is about to get underway and already fans flooding into this wonderful Hong Kong Coliseum. A capacity of roughly 12,000. I'm sure it's going to be full to the rafters this Sunday for finals. Our technical officials and umpires are already in position. Please welcome players for court one. Women's double. Jokobano Kitty Tawako. Ravita Kachonja. Thailand. And here come John Kolfan, Kitty Tarakul, and Rawinda Prajongjai. The world number nine pairing. They had an absolutely massive match against the Japanese pair. Uh, Imanago Nakanishi came through in three games. And here are their opponents. The fiery, feisty, that's the only way you could really describe them. A pair of Pearly Tan and Tinamuri Taran from Malaysia. This could be a heavy, heavy match indeed, as both of these pairs are willing to play the long rallies and really look for that winning point. Hi. So, coin toss. So, that's the head-to-head. Red, -head. Red, red, and you black. Red. Uh, so, you receive. Yeah. Uh, and even though that head-to-head -head was 4 nothing to the Malaysians, their coach, Hun Tian Hao, one of the badminton legends from Malaysia, is actually out this week saying that that means nothing when you're facing a pair like Kitty Tarakul and Prajongjai. Yeah, 
the fans, as I was saying, here for this first morning session. Good to see them in full of attendance, or full enough. Rwinda Prajongjai, 30 years old now. He actually started off as a singles player, Rwinda, right, back in 2013. Won a couple of titles as well, the Smiling Fish International uh, titles in Thailand. Born capital city of Bangkok. But for the last eight years has been paired up with John Kolfan. And they have reached some heights, for sure. There is her partner, born in Chiang Mai, it's up north in Thailand. Gold medal at the SEA Games for both of them in 2017. They've been as high as fifth in the world, and that was December of last year. They've had a pretty good run as well this year. Quarter-finalists at the World Championships and the Japan Open. This was their tournament so far. The Stueva sisters in 34 minutes. And that was that marathon match, as I said, against Iwanaga and Nakanishi. 74 minutes and winning in extra points in the third. But as I said, quarter-finalists at the World Championships in Japan. They also picked up third spots in Canada. Tie open in the Indonesian Masters. So, sixth quarter final for them and a fourth semi final they're looking for. Pauli Tan now, 23 years old. Very much one of the stars in Malaysian badminton. Born up north in Kedah. Has been as high as five in the world, and that was at the beginning of this year. Haven't had the best of years. They've had some well, good runs at a few tournaments, and but of course, the injury troubles again have crept up for Pearly. Tina Muri Taran, 25 years old. Interesting fact about her, she speaks four languages. Unbelievable. That's true. And these are their tournament Ready results. To Linda Effler, Isabel Lohau in 54 minutes. And then their fellow Malaysians, Anna Chong and Tio Zing in round two. Umpire for this one, Chris Yip from Hong Kong. Joined by our service judge, Stefan Venet. Well, this match is really going to be about which of these pairs can hit the ground running and start the brighter. They both like playing fast, aggressive. Hamilton, that's for sure. As for Pearly and Tina, well, they were also quarter-finalists at the World Championships, their second runner-up at the Malay Malaysian Masters, and third places at the German Open, the Indonesian Masters, and the India Open. So sixth quarter-final for them, looking for a fifth semi-final. And that's a pretty good conversion rate, considering this very important year of Paris qualification. Paris Olympics, of course, that qualification period happening all the way up to April next year. That is Hun Tian Hao and Tan Bin Shen, two Ready? legends of the doubles game, now part of the coaching staff. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, John Kafong, Kitty Haraku, and Rawinda Prajangjai, Thailand. <laughs> and on my left, Pearl Lee Tan and Thina Murathi Tharan, Malaysia. Pearly Town to serve to Pakachong, Kitty Haraku, Level, play. One love. So a good first point there for the former Commonwealth Games gold medalist 2022 for Pearly and Tina. That's Tino's really stepped up. I did say that whoever really Tim hits the ground Love. running is going to be a great benefit in this match. And Tino has already shown some good power from the back.
Oh, that was ambitious from Pearly Tan, but it was good movement from Pearly and Tin Up. Again, just Service doing over. enough. Three, Force the error one. there from Kitty Darakal. Oh. Oh, nervous service. Service over. Two, three. Service over. Four, three. Again, it's Tinner coming in with the power moves forward. Happy to sit back and soak up the pressure right now. Waiting for a mistake from the tie pair. Again, great combination that. My Burley and Tinner. Left well, and that's the mistake they were waiting for. Five, three. Rally tally with 38 shots. That's very much Service the kind over. of match I was expecting. Four, five. Long rallies of attrition, really just testing out all the boundaries of our opponents and waiting for errors. Defensively, not the best Seven position over. to be in. You could just see Kiditarokul and Prajongjai right here just bunched up on the right side. That's They realized where they were and that just took their eye off the shuttle for a second now. So those are the tiny, tiny flaws you that they like have it? to look out for. Two-point lead for Tan and Tina. Service over. Five, six. Well, both of these pairs would benefit from a semi-final appearance, I can tell you that. Neither Malaysia or Thailand have won the women's doubles discipline here in Hong Kong since the tournament was first held way back in 1982. Nice pick up there from Tina. Good defense. He's left that wide. So nationally, uh, I think you could look at it that way. This would be great for Malaysia and Thailand if they can make their way to the final. But of course, personally, in terms of being a pair, both of these pairs very much in the race to Paris. As I said earlier, the Olympic qualification currently. Kitty Tarakul and Prajongjai eighth in the race to Paris list with 50,000 points of 10. Uh, 50,263, in fact, of 10 Seven, events. Six. And Pearly and Tin are 13th in that list. 40,161 points from eight events. It 
it is quite complicated. The doubles, 48 pairs Seven's of the over. allocated quota Seven places all. based on the race to Paris links. This, sorry. Kitty Araku, be ready. Well, I can make it far more simpler for you and just say win everything basically in this year and you're going to get there and you're going to get there in style oh, back to the game tied up at seven seven's over eight seven and kitty tarakul and prajong jai edge ahead for the first time Wonderful vision from Pearly Tan. And that's one of the Service real over. real weapons all. she has. Be able to spot that space in real time. Jump in, fires in the winner. Just out. Service over. Nine, eight. Great again from Tina. Well, change of racket for Pearlie on the move. Ten eight. It really is a learned skill to be able to do that within the rhythm of the point. Tina tried her best to okay. hold the fort. It was an important point to concede as well as we approach the mid-game interval. So Burley Tan still getting that new racket out. It's important to cut the strings. And ready for action again. 10-8. Just too much from Purdy. She knew exactly over. where to put Nine, that shot. Ten. Low on the forehand side. You could just see how awkward it was for Prachong Jai to try and recover that. Oh, deep serve. Ten all. Well, those two points, very smart play. Service over. So, 11, 10, regardless of that five. mini comeback, Kizitarakul and Prajong Jai go ahead at the mid-game interval. 11-10. Cut one, 20 seconds. Cut one, 20 seconds. So back on court for second phase of game one. And I have to say, even though the score is tight, 
I do think that Pearly Tan play. and Tina have started just that tiny bit more brightly. Out. That's serve is over. Eleven. Weak serve. Oh, that's nice from Prajong Jai. Good angle, good speed. Service over. 12 11. Again, good combination. Well, whatever 13, was discussed 11. in the mid-game interval with their coach has worked just fine. Now they're finding the range down the flanks. Oh, she tried one of her trademark drops into the front 14, court. 14, 11. Just put too much on it. Biggest lead for Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai. Oh, I think the whole auditorium heard that one. Service over. 12 14. Once again, Tino with some fine work. Started 13, off at the backcourt. Powered away forward to the net. And was just as effective. Oh, double fault. Service over. 15-13. This first game has been falling into this pattern where the Taipei will go ahead. And that kind of boosts the Malaysians into a mini comeback. Well left. 17-13. Has to be remembered that the Malaysian pair dealing with a little bit of drift on that side of the court. But she really had no choice but to lift to the back line then. Hot. That was nicely placed again. 18, Just above 13. the right knee. Well, Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai in a commanding position here now in this first game. Oh, that was nice. Service over. 14, Pinpoint position. 18. Look at that. Oh, that's good variation from Pearly. On the crouch. Flat drive. Service over. 
just inches long. 14. She really tried to pull that one in. Thank you, Lancia. Play. It's been good, solid service action from 20. John Colfan, Kitty Tarako. So six game points. Over. Well placed, but really more down to 15 20. Defensive positional frailty from the Thai pair. A little bit bunched up in the middle. Game. That's well done by Kitty Tarakul and Pajong Jai. One by John Kafong. Kiharaku and Rawinda Prajongjai, 21-15. I just heard the umpire after 17 minutes. They have one foot in the semis. Caught one, 20 seconds. Caught one, 20 seconds. So, both pairs back on court for game two. And both pairs diligently and dutifully listening to their coaches. Who, as always, have some great insights into how they can tweak up their attack and defense. Second game. Love all. Play. Service over. One love. That's nice little interception by Pearly Tan. Two love. Coming in. And Kitty Tarakul. Service over. One, two. It's a wonderful serve from Two Kitty Tarkle. She really has been on her service game. Let's 
good coverage by Prajongja. All that pressure was coming in. Oh. Server's over. And it really did look like a good Three, offensive two. wave by the Thai ladies. Pushing forward nicely, just this shot. Clips the net. Oh, dropped in perfectly by Kitaro Gold. Three, all. Towels are out for a quick wipe down. Thank you, Lange. No, Fina. Service over. Four, three. Well, looks like another wipe down needed. Service all. Very flat. For all. Too flat for Burnley to retrieve. Forced into the lift. And now it's Burnley Tan's turn to drop Service in over. an exquisite shot. Five, four. No other choice but to lift that. Gave Pearlie the options. And she went for the soft drop into left front court. Oh, nice placement by Tina. Six, four. Out. Oh, what a time for a service error. Service over. Just as they were Five, building up some six. steam. Hey. Delicate touches from Kitty Tarako. Good enough. Played six the angles. All. She went right and she went left. Well, it's not critical times yet for the Malaysians, but using shoes have to make something from this second game. Heartbreak for them at the World Championships. They were so close to getting a medal and getting into the semi-finals. Well, of course, I do mean heartbreak because they were very emotional about it afterwards. That's great defense by Prajong Jai and Kitty Tarako. Oh, that came up too high. 
Seven, six. And she was absolutely lurking, waiting to kill that off. Just look at the way she comes forward here. Good anticipation. Forty-five shots now, the longest rally tally. Good rally too. Oh, it's got to be it's very, very Seven close. Over. No challenges Seven yet all. in this match. If you like, Judge. For Zhong Jai leading the attack. Oh, just wide. Good idea, though. Eight, seven. Oh, nice pick up by Pratonja. <laughs> Power by Tina. Nine seven. Well, they definitely started the match a little brighter, but I have to say, Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai have moved into very solid rhythmic formation. They may have lost that point, but you can just see them there, just covering front and back court very, very well. Also taking their time with their shots, good pace to this match. Ten seven. Out. Well left. Seven's over. Eight ten. Zhang Jai absolutely hammered Nine, that off ten. the serve. Well, as you know, the first three shots in a doubles match is so important, while well, the two that they took were just hammer and nails. Absolutely smashed it. Again, very quick ten reactions all. from... Kitty Tarkle now just as close as we move to the second mid game interval. Of course, big difference this time as the tie players are one up. Oh, well, if that has stayed Seven's in. Over. 11 10 interval. Would have been something special. Talentina ahead. 11 10 in the second. Cut one, 20 seconds. Cut one, 20 seconds. Yeah. 
So back on court for second phase of game two. Chance, of course, for an all-tie semi-final in the women's doubles. 11-10, play. If the Ames Hard sisters come through over the number one seeds, Matsumoto and Nagahara. Thailand have actually only won one medal Service at the over. Hong Kong Open back in 2001. Chitra at Pai San in the women's singles. And if you think about the number of players they have in different disciplines now, of course, with new world champion Kunlevit Vitisan as well, well, you've got to say that their medal tally in certain events is going to go up. Of course, Kunlevit not here. Taking a well-earned break after being crowned first ever Thai men's singles world champion. Oh, troubles for Pearly and Tina. Eleven. Couple of errors and a look over to the coaches from Tina as well. Serve is over. 12 all. Mistakes creeping in. We can't afford over. this. 13 12. This is where things get interesting. Nervy times for the Malaysian team. That score line's just a bit too close in the second. Good round the head from Prajong Jai. Service over. Upset with herself. 13 all. Rabinda? So 13 all, and Talentina really love to get a couple of points off this serve and get a bit of a buffer built. Again, it's Prajong Jai that clips the net. 14, well, take that. 13. To serve. Oh, deep serve. Again, Prajong Jai with the fifteen miss. thirteen. Well, Malaysians fans. Concern for a second because Pearly Tan was down again. Phenomenally talented player, Pearly Tan, but has had a few injuries. Knee, elbow, last two, if I remember. May have put her out of contention at times. She looks like she's okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, that was an awkward slip. So 15-13, they have got that two-point buffer. You still don't think that's enough. 15-13. But let's see what they can do with this serve. Oh, that's very long, very wide. 16-13. And it's worked out. Ooh, 
clash of rackets. Over. Never an encouraging sign. 14 16. Well, that's two rackets down for the Malaysians. Wow, look at that. Well, I hope that wasn't one of her favourites. Oh. What a time to concede that. They needed to get that 15th point in. 14. Great chance for Talentina now. Force a third deciding game. Both these pairs have absolutely no problems with taking it to three. Kitty Tarakul with 18, I think one 14. of the first mistakes we've seen from her at the net today. And it's Prajongja again having 19, real problems 14. at the net. So this second game nicely falling the way of Talentina. Oh, wow. What a defense that was. All at sea. The tie side of the net. They're still managing to get it back. And now on the attack. Oh, what a rally. Best rally that we've seen. I think finished off emphatically 20. by Pearly Tan. Game point 14. Six well earned game points. Look at that. <laughs> Defense of the week, perhaps. And that's gone wide, so we are going to have a third deciding game. Well played. Second by game won by Pearly Tan. And Thina Muratilara, 21-14, one game all. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So here we go. Third and deciding game. Fully expected one to come this way. Now I wonder if the significant factor is that Kitty Tarakul and Prajongja are now playing on the slightly Final better game. side of the court. Level play. One. Love. So far, pairs playing on this side of the court, this nearer side on your screen. They've come out on top generally throughout the week as well. That's good pressure from Burley Town. Two love. She can be such a creative force at times. But in addition to that, 
If she needs to really slog it out in terms of winning the points, she's got that too. They might still be trying Service to find over. the formula to beat the best. One, two. But they certainly don't know how to lose. Good power from her again. Service over. Three, one. Both pairs have had deciding service over games this week. Two, Early turn three. In round one against Eflin Lohau. And as I said, Iwanaga Nakanishi for Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai, round two. Oh, nice from Pali Tan, picked up well. Oh, very late take. Three all. Another slip by Tina. She's up. And wins the point. Fantastic. Service over. That's really amazing Four, about three. that. They managed to win that point by avoiding that spot of moisture on the court. You okay? Just touching her ankle. Okay, back on court. That was close. Down. Five, three. <laughs> Service over. Four. Five. Well, it's been some good work from them, but they haven't really been able to pull away. Four, five. Service over. Oh, they really did look Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai like they four. were in ascendance there. Oh. Just didn't yeah. come through for them. Delicate touch from Kitty Tarakul, didn't make it.
body shot. Seven well placed by Rwinda. Five, six. Great space found Six by Kitty Tarakul. Again, great serve. Seven, six. Again, great vision from Pearly Tan to see that. Over. Bunched up on the left side. Seven all. Acres of space on the right. And in fact, the way she took that shot as well. Exceptional stuff. Been pearly town for the last two or three points now. Eight, seven. I knew exactly where she was going to put it. Second there, I thought they had that point using the full dimensions of the Eight court. All. Left and right. And all Pearly Tan had to do was really just drop it in again. Pearly Tan will receive. Tipped in nicely by Kitty Tarakul. Good setup by Pradong Jai. She just kept plugging the forehand side. And when it came back a bit high, Kitty Tarakul, a slight jump in the air, hooks it down. Players, get ready. Good fishing by Prachong Jai. Ten eights. Well, as they approach the third and final mid game interval, it's the Thai pair that are again in the ascendancy. Fusion again by Burnley and Tina settled themselves nicely. Could be in trouble here. Recovered well. Oh, and she does. She does it again. Service over. 
Well, they got themselves out of trouble there. Nine, ten. They were really stretched in the middle of that rally. That could be contender for longest rally of the match. Okay, thank you, line judges. Back on court. Tina. Nine, ten. Play. Service over. Oh, she was 11, coming forward. Nine, interval. Change ends. Couldn't quite make the shot, and it's 11 9. The Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai at the third mid game interval. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Coach, please. So here we go. Final phase of action in this fascinating tactical match to kick off proceedings on court one here at day four, the quarterfinals. The Hong Kong Open 2023. 11, nine. Play. Hey. Oh, they wanted that point. They would not be denied. Nine. And it's Kitty Tarakul in the end that puts the finishing touch Twelve. on. Good attacking flurry. Again, great variation. Thirteen nine. I'm sure, Burley Tan herself would be. Very appreciative of that shot. That's exactly what she does. Wow, this is worrying. Four point lead. Oh, ambitious from Chong Jai. 10 13. Well, if Talentina can pull back a couple of points here, that would. Really be beneficial to them. It's weak from Tina. Server's over. 14 10. Pressure's back on. Over. Early town with a very nice shot. 11, for John Jai, almost there. And she was moving backwards, as you can see. And that really just took that extra inch off a racket. Show him, please. Still work to do for Talented Up. Okay, thank you. Eleven forty. 
play. Oh, good anticipation, but better anticipation from Tina, who 12, moved across 14. the right side. As it was, I actually don't think that that shot was going to stay in for Brajong Jai. Let's have a look at the site. Well, so you can see great anticipation from Tina to come across. Important point to win as well. 12-14. Straight onto the power for Kitty Tarakul. Caught. Took three or four attempts. Service over. 15-12. But I think they're beginning to see that that might be a way to victory for them. Just get straight on the attack. Stomp with the tactical long rallies. Put direct pressure on the Malaysians. Variation from Kitty Tower from Prajan Jai. So upset with herself that drop shot didn't work. 13, 15. Good work from Prajan Jai. It's a flat drives left and right. Time for Politan to pull that out. 14, 15. To one point behind. The crowd getting behind this one. Good coverage from Prajong Jai, who would not be denied. Surface over. 16, 14. Well, that was a very, very nervous point for them. It's either going to be 15 all or 16, 14. Sixteen fourteen. Absolutely critical points now for both pairs. Oh, that's a mistake, and it could be very costly indeed. Seventeen fourteen. Well, the Thai ladies now have a great opportunity off this serve. Possibly to put this match and this game beyond the reach of the Malaysians. Oh, it's gone. Service over. Wide enough. 15 17. Great defense from Pearly Tan. That's gone wide. Oh, she did fantastically well at the beginning of that point. 18 15. Use your shoes. No, your shoes. You're delaying the game. Well, I do kind of agree with. Chris Yip, in terms of there have been a lot of stoppages requested by the Malaysians for Moist Year, but then again, on the other side of it, I 
question of safety. We've also seen a couple of slips as well, so the players do know. That's good. Service over. 16-18. Oh. 17, 18. It's getting tight. Oh, it's tied it up with 18 all. 18 all. Wow, oh, this match now hanging on. Whoever can claim these next three points. Unless, of course, we go to extra points. Nice from Tina. Oh, what a rally. Oh, power. Pressure. They move ahead at just the right time. 19-18. Well, Tina was powerful at the start of the match, and now she's coming through again. going to make their fifth semi-final. Oh. Body shot, and that's given them two match points. 20. They've come match from behind in this third 18. game. Smart play again. Fifty, sixty-four minutes, I should say, on court. Well, that's one back. Holy Tan still Service flat over. out. I'm sure that's going to need another wipe down. Just, just got out the way. This is it, one more match point to save. For so Kitty Tarakul and Prajong Jai. They have to be absolutely perfect, no mistakes allowed. What a match this has been to open up proceedings on court one. Whichever way it goes. Fina to receive. A beautiful drop shot. It's Tina again. They've come through from behind. And it is a fifth semi final for them this year. Fantastic match and a great performance from John Kolfan, Kitty Tarakul, and Rowinda Prajongjai that bow to the gathered fans here at the Hong Kong Coliseum. But Tan and Tina have come through. Match won by Pearly Tan and Tina Murathilaran. 15-21, 21-14, And it's all 21, smiles 19. in the Malaysian camp. And it should be. They've really put in a fighting performance. I said it at the start of the match. Fiery and feisty. Sometimes they just don't know how to lose.
great from Tinner. From the start to finish. Real star of the match. Well, they really do wear their hearts on their sleeves. A couple of broken rackets later. There's confirmation of it. 15-21, 21-14, 21-19. And Pearly Tan and Tina Muli Taran through to the semi-finals. What a fantastic match in 66 minutes to open up uh, action here on court one. Up next, it's women's singles and the number one seed, Kani Yamaguchi, taking on Beiwan Zhang from the USA. <laughs> 